Hi, I'm Andy Shipsides from Mabel Cinetech in New York, and today we're looking at the PDW 700 camera from Sony as well as the PDW HD 1500 deck from Sony. Uh, we're looking at how to use these XD cam discs as a data backup device. Now, they're, they are like a Blu ray type disc, it's actually called a, a professional disc. It's a, this is a 23 gigabyte model, there's also a 50 gigabyte model as well, and you can actually write data now with the latest firmware version right onto the disc in, a, in, a, in what is called a user data folder. Uh, this allows you to write several gigs worth of data onto a disk as a, as a data backup option. Now, you do need to use the latest version of the firmware of the, in the cameras. This is version 1.2 of the PW700, and as well as version 1.2 of the, of the deck to do this data backup procedure. Um, you can do this con connection through either FireWire or through Ethernet. So we're going to do it through FireWire because we have it connected, or iLink as they call it, uh, to my computer. And you can see on my computer here, uh, the disk popped up as, as called Untitled. So I want to load the disk up real quick, and I'm going to look on the disk, and I can see a folder called User Data. Now, this only works in the file access mode, and, and that, that means it only works with the deck or, or the computer or the camera, not with the U1. So not just yet anyway. Maybe one in the future we'll see that. Um, but for now, the deck and the camera will let you connect this to, to the disk this way in file access mode, and I can see this User Data folder. So uh, User Data can contain almost up to the entire size of the disk, 20-some gigs on a 23-gig disk, 40 some gigs on a 50 gig disk. And I can put any folders I want into this uh, data. So it's a great way to back up just any data you have laying around a hard drive or something that you want to store for a long term. Uh, in my case, I'm going to use a folder from an EX camera, a Sony XD Cam EX camera. So I have this card folder which has the BPAV folder in it and so on, and clips and so, so forth inside that. Uh, I want to back up this folder for later. So this is just called, my folder is called EXCARD1. I just want to write it back to the, the disk. I can only put it in one folder, that's the user data folder. The other folders, some of them are writable, some aren't, but they're not going to contain as much data as the user data fo folder can contain. So I'm just go ahead and write back to the disk, EXCARD, and then it's just going to copy back on there again. Uh, it's actually writing right now, I can feel it, the drive moving uh, back onto the, onto the disk itself, and, uh, and I can store that for later. Uh, again, this is a very nice way to uh, back up your data for long-term storage. Uh, if you have any questions about this, give us a call, come on in, talk to us about it. We're, we're happy to explain the workflow for to you some more. Uh, you guys, it's a very great solution for data backup. Uh, thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you next time.